He took the shot from here. Using a tripod and a shooting stick. And realized there was a better position. There's a faint scrape where he dragged his tripod and set it up here. 600 yards. 650? Not to mention a seven or eight mile an hour wind. He would have needed a wind gauge. Which he placed here. And put a cigarette down here. Can anyone shoot that far? Not more than half a dozen men in all of you. And how many of those men served in Afghanistan? Why? Hirschsprung with a touch of Teklum. Must have fallen out when he was rolling up. Wasn't that the blend you all smoked? Didn't I read something about a colonel? Sebastian Moran. Best marksman in the British Army. Dishonorable discharge. He's likely now a gun for hire. This is the second victim of his that I've encountered. What better way to conceal a killing? No one looks for a bullet hole in a bomb blast. He's 20 minutes late. He must come soon. I don't have any papers. And I am a foreigner. This climate is exactly what Moriarty wants. <clears throat> the omelette finale is divine. But they spared every expense on the tea. Now, shall we compare moods? Or consider what we know? Last night's bombing was clearly meant to look like Germany's retaliation for Strasbourg. However, the bomb was also meant to conceal the murder of just one man. The man killed by the gunshot was none other than Alfred Mernhardt. He makes guns. Big guns. Only days ago, a large share of his company was bought by an unknown investor. Moriarty. The clues point in one direction. But to avoid repeating last night's debacle, I was obliged to collect more sufficient data. Hence my tardiness.